All right, the next <clears throat> the next tutorial is about making Arch Gnome a bit nicer. So we changed already some stuff, uh, but we're gonna fine tune it even more so we can enjoy our Arch Gnome. Logon is done with GDM, as you can see. And here we go. First off, I do not like the wallpaper, one bit. So I'm gonna go to variety. Don't want to participate, it's not working anymore. And I don't want this folder, I do want that one. Not Flickr, not Apod. And so we are left with Desktopper, which is just beautiful. As you can see, this is one of them, or this is one of them. But every minute, I want it to download every minute, and the images it provides should be at least 80% of my screen resolution, so I get nice images. And then, let's go to full screen, and fix things, let's close this one, right mouse click. All right, so we have um, activities here. We have our icons. We had one icon that was not behaving properly. This is not done, my friend. So let's fix you. Let's fix you. We go into the applications, and here I do my check if the Sadi icons are in order, and I make new icons or links. In this case, this program is going to show, going to point to a place that's not correct so I'm gonna make it correct let's scroll in so you can see what I'm doing all the way down big enough I guess it's going to point to a MIME application so it's going to tell it's a docx or an xlsx or something like that so it's not correct name I should rename it to contact or contacts let's have a look we cannot save it yet. We have um, we need a program to be able to write there. So let me check that first, uh, what it was again, and then we'll write it and change this uh, item here. Let me go out of here, like so, and pause the movie. Okay, well, I've learned again something more. And we're going back to full screen. So let's first take at what we did here. So we changed icon to contact. Control S does not say, get us now an error. We save it and let's then take a look at it. So this is the contacts here. So we get a nicer icon. But why this error? So we went on to investigate let's see if i can drag this over here no i cannot so i'm filming Control f here like so let's move this out of the way this as well and you should take a look at this one x11 vnc on the wiki and it says here, note, newer GDM packages ship with xWayland as default display server backend. The following instructions, however, only apply when using xorg, else xauthority. And that was the problem. I was looking for xauthority because I did not have it. Yeah. Else xauthority is not created. So I had no xauthority. And blah, blah, blah. Your advice to uncomment the Wayland false and so on. This gave me the idea. Ah, maybe I should log off and log on back as um, you can log off and log on. Let's do that together. Log out. Yeah. So normally you log in as GNOME. That's the new one. And now I've chosen to log on as Xorg since I understood there was difference between both of them. And when logging in as Xorg, then I could, uh, you, you saw what happened, I was able to change the file again. So the thing I'm, doing, I'm still wondering about is if why I'm not having this xauthority file in here somewhere. 
but anyway we have successfully changed our icon and um, we'll move on for now let's go to full view again full screen mode switch and let's make it even more beautiful or more interesting so what else can we install we could install plank as well plank can be positioned here this is the best place maybe to do it there is a lot of themes you can change let's choose something that fits with this one i don't know something white maybe like so i can zoom now we can all go over it and it works then we want to have uh, next time we want to start up conky as well so we'll go to the startup applications variety is there already blank is here add done next might be a conky and we have this aureola conky that's already installed here acres right mouse click open in terminal install do you want to install the font of course and then a permission to figure out the motherboard and so on and we do need lua and all kind of stuff in order to be able to have a conky so that's done maybe in the meantime let's quickly check the preferences of our terminal the terminal does not look big enough for you guys to see what i'm actually doing let's even take 16 and then we can't go we can't go uh, transparent yet so that's our next job to make in to get the transparent kind of terminal to see through it what else can we do in the meantime while he's compiling we can put it here on half and up here like so in half parts no no if we can put it in one fourth that would be nice if that would be able and uh, we'll be able to do that not sure if that's possible here i uh, guess my guess is tweak tool maybe it's in somewhere here but i wanted to go here anyway to get some alternate tab it's quite interesting applications if you want to have it or not um, um, what else the places indicator if you like that kind of look removable drive if you have an, a drive that you pop, pop in don't think i have a usb laying around here somewhere so then it's uh, coming up uh, user themes windows list you can maybe you want that as well so you can switch easily between elements workspace i don't need any more workspaces even gonna go and tell them i don't want any workspaces i have two uh, screens that's plenty of space i'm not gonna make it even more complicated than that so static i suppose minus okay all right okay there we are he's um we have to think i think we have to reset it a bit our virtual box has been ah yeah that's the bar okay that's the bar that's uh, under there so full screen yes back on so this bar here is now over our uh, blank so that's not not so interesting for us so we can see all the programs and check if icons are in order or not on what programs we have installed that looks good then um, how can we go back again activities overview then the tweak tool i want to get rid of what an extension the window list under here is gone again and all the rest is okay of course we're not on linux mint so it's a minor adaptation you go to places to your home 
to your icon uh, com key here and a com key conf which is now in red um, there are also a gray com key, a blue com key, an orange com key but like I said which was the let's do this as well open with other application sublime text select and then we have a bigger letter uh, font we were looking for the name so linux mint it's not correct we are actually on arch linux we save it we close it and we enjoy the logo so there you go uh, variety is down here if it wants to open up and you can change the icon in this case i want to trash it i want to trash this one as well let's keep it at that and that is quite nice so we've set up our arch linux system um yeah we were thinking about the the, the possibility to have a terminal so a terminal that is uh, is indeed transparent so let's take a look at our files we have arch gnome that we downloaded and we have this installation file and in here we'll find a gnome that's transparent and that's something i will always do to run this thing so it's going to tell to install with packer but it should not oh we've opened it with builder now not my idea of working builder for just a file like that so we're gonna install the noom transparency while it's doing that we can do something else maybe at this point i don't have a terminal not the gnome terminal so it has been deleted and we're waiting for the new one the new version of gnome and these are all kinds of scripts you can use and try uh, to to figure out how they work uh, wire vivaldi zsh all explained on Eric Dubois most of them already in some kind one one or other distro um pop 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 what else this happens when you press enter so you can always go like so instead of so activities overview just an enter a windows away sorry a windows away um, for the rest this is just uh, everything is normal here you remember recall all these options everything looks okay and it's this way we gonna quit it for the rest anything else I could mention we should run the Firefox uh, script here with I hope no I don't think we have started Firefox already so let's Firefox it so best thing is maybe start or the, the Windows key and then type Firefox enter and while we're at it we can also fix it to be there forever add to favorites once it's started I can quit it quit it yes close tabs and we can run this normally you double click this and that's not possible well yes it is possible well first of all i'm gonna say never to open builder again that's that and secondly you can say to double click it it's just a matter of and where is it again it is somewhere here in the preferences in the behavior to ask what to do and when you double click it run in terminal and that's done already so that's that in the meantime the gnome terminal has finished so let's close everything up I'm pressing alt tab nothing is there anymore so now I'm gonna start my terminal and I'm gonna ask let's see if it has worked colors transparent and how transparent do you need it to be and that's that so now we have a transparent uh, transparent uh, gnome terminal in which we can ask give me just a quick screen fetch 
a little bit wider or a neo fetch sometimes they are different depends on the update i suppose so these are this is a new gnome journal we're having and we're looking at the commands we are having here if you want to install something for your bluetooth headset that's this one and i'll leave you to it because the movie or the tutorial will be too long otherwise enjoy arch linux gnome i'm going out with ctrl f and i'm out